Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today I am out here and going to be brewing beneficial nematodes. Uh, it's something that I've done some research on. I am having a very bad grub worm issue here in the garden. Insert clip here. Okay, so here is a little patch where I dug and there is the grub worm right there. And these guys are going to turn into bad insects for the garden later on this summer and we don't want them coming back. So what the beneficial nematodes do is they penetrate the soil and they kind of lay in wait for these guys to come crawling past. Oh. And they enter into the, uh, into the grub and just dry it out into a husk. And the more I dig in this area, like I can uncover these all over the place and it's just having issues with it. They're now in my vegetable beds and I don't want to be dealing with this later on. So like here, here's another one. Boop, right there. So the more I dig in here, the more I'm gonna find them. I came over and did a little bit of digging in my vegetable bed and boop, there is another grub worm. And uh, so today I'm gonna be brewing uh, these beneficial nematodes, they're microscopic organisms that attack the grub worms in the soil. Um, so I got these from my local nursery and you brew them in water and then you use a spray applicator. This is a, a two gallon Craftsman spray applicator uh, to apply it. So what I'm going to be doing is brewing these. Uh, it comes with this nifty little bag and then inside the box yeah, you get, get into the box here. You get your tub of your beneficial nematodes and you pour these into your bag and then you put it into about a half gallon of cool water, about three quarters of a gallon maybe, and let that steep for about an hour. It makes a tea that you then put into your sprayer and dilute that down with the remaining of the water in the sprayer and then you can apply it to your soil and you just do it as a top dress to your soil. So if you look inside, this is what it looks like. It's just a bunch of uh, perlite, or not perlite, that's a uh, vermiculite, sorry. And all I do is pour this into the bag. Emptied that out. And then you just pull the drawstrings on there and tie it into a bow. And we're just gonna drop this in and let it sit for an hour. And we'll come back when it's ready to go. So I just wanted to show you the box really quick. Here is the outside of it with an image of under a microscope what the beneficial nematodes look like. And they go after Japanese beetle larvae, cutworms, uh, white grubs, fungus gnat, flea larvae. Um, and so they're going to attack those. Um, again, here is okay, here's the box. And this way. And here is the back. So I just wanted to go over a little bit of the information on the beneficial nematodes, uh, just regarding application. Um, you definitely wanna be doing this in the evening after the sun goes down or is at its lowest point in the sky, since sunlight will kill the beneficial nematodes. Um, I am doing my uh, tea for them, soaking them in the, um, in about a half gallon of water before the sun goes down. Um, it's about four o'clock, so um, that's giving me about an hour. And then at around five or 5.15 or so, once the sun is at its lowest point, most of the ground you can see behind me is shaded, but this area over my shoulder over here is not. Uh, so once that is in the shade, then I'm gonna go ahead and do my spray application. Uh, the application is good for about two years, although they do recommend that you do it yearly. 
which I am definitely going to be doing because I noticed that this is a very big problem for my garden. I'm probably not getting all areas. Uh, so this is a preventative measure against Japanese beetles, uh, flea larvae, cutworms, and I definitely have a cutworm issue in my garden. Anyway, um, so that's just a little bit of information before we get into the application. I just wanted to give that to you. Um, it is not harmful to pets or to people whatsoever. Uh, it's also not going to harm earthworms, any type of beneficial bugs. So it's not going to do any type of damage to praying manti or praying mantids. It's not going to do any damage to praying mantids, ladybugs, lace wigs anything like that. Uh, you can still release those in the in your garden. Definitely recommend doing that. And in fact, I'm going to be uh, doing a video on praying mantids a little bit later on. So be looking out for that video. And now we'll go ahead and get into the application. Thanks. We're about 20 minutes into the tea steeping itself. And this is what it looks like. Just wanted to give you that the water is a little bit discolored, but Looks like they're doing okay in there. Okay. All right. So this has been steeping for about an hour and it is safe to touch. It's not harmful to uh, your pets, dogs, cats, any type of pets that you have. So what you wanna do is pull this out and just wring it out to get the rest of all those microscopic organisms out of there. So just really good ring. Right, and now we're just gonna move the solution into our sprayer. So this is only about a third of the way full. I'm just gonna fill the rest of this with water and then we can get to spraying. I'm getting ready to do application. I wanted to show you this area first. This is just a small pile of leaves and debris that I had wrapped up in this tarp. Um, I kind of discovered it today, but I have a bunch of grub worms in here. You can see there's a whole pile that I pulled out, but it also has regular worms in here. Um, you can see, see them here, just regular earthworms. Um, <coughs> I'm allowing them to compost this down. You can kind of see where they're already doing that with this here, but then I have regular leaves that they still haven't gotten to. So I'm just leaving this as is. I'm going to add in a little bit of the beneficial nematodes to this, <coughs> spray it down with water and kind of see how it's going to react and what they're going to do to the grubs. So it should be leaving this alone, but killing those guys. I'm kind of curious that we're going to do this in a controlled environment <clears throat> just to see how it'll react. Um, in the meantime, we're also going to do an application to this whole area, the vegetable beds, the compost pile, and the other side of the house. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, I have my sprayer and I am ready to do some application. So I'm just going to go in and just give it a light dusting. You don't have to do too heavy handed with it. You just wanna make sure that it's kind of getting it wet, but not saturated. Once I'm done with the application, I can move over to this bed now. Once I'm done with the application, I'm gonna go in and water it in and I'm gonna to continue to water it for the next four or five days. I did pick some time where it's gonna be raining for the next few days so I don't have to water it and just allow the rain to do some of the work for me. Okay. Now that I've completed my application using our sprayer, of the beneficial nematodes into the soil. I'm just going in with the hose, watering in everything, just giving it a light dusting to make sure that everything's adhered down. With the rain that's coming in the next couple days, that'll really saturate it into the soil. 
and in a couple weeks I will give you an update on our little experiment with the beneficial nematodes in the tarp with the uh, grub worms that are in there and the worms and we'll see how it um, affected what's in there. Alright, that's it for today's video. Thanks for tuning into my channel and I'll catch you later. Bye!